begin with big developments today in the coronavirus outbreak. The first virus-related death in the tri-state area has been reported in New Jersey. In New York, Governor Cuomo announced a containment zone in New Rochelle. He also ordered the National Guard to that area. This afternoon, Connecticut declared a state of emergency. New York and New Jersey have already done that. All three states announced new cases today. In New York, there are more than 170, more than 100 in Westchester County alone. And there are 39 cases in the city, 19 in Nassau County. Rockland currently has six, Suffolk and Ulster each report one. There are 15 cases in New Jersey. And in our area, that includes four in Bergen County, three in Hudson, two in Passaic and Monmouth, and one in Union. And Connecticut announced its second case today. A patient who's being treated at Bridgeport Hospital but is not a Bridgeport resident. We have team coverage. Alice Gaynor has information now about the death in New Jersey. Dick Brennan has the economic impact and federal response. Let's begin tonight in New Rochelle and the unprecedented measures that they are taking to stop the spread of this coronavirus. Jessica Layton there. Jessica? Christina Maurice, with this containment zone announced by the governor today, the elementary school here behind me is one of three city schools in New Rochelle that will be closed for at least two weeks starting tomorrow. The governor, in his own words, said he knows this is extremely disruptive, but he said given the huge outbreak in New Rochelle right now, it really comes down to life and death. Dismissal at Ward Elementary School in New Rochelle Tuesday came with some alarm bells for parents. It's stressful. It's very, I can tell yeah, it's very stressful. It's super stressful. After learning it was one of three city schools to be closed for two weeks at the order of the state. Tahani Oliver Batista's five-year-old is in kindergarten here and she works full time. I'm really nervous about that happening because of child care issues. I don't know what I'm going to do with my kids for two weeks. Just having to uh, re-evaluate everything you know, um, figuring out how you're going to get to work and deal with the kids and stuff like that. It's a little tough. The school, along with New Rochelle High School and the Albert Leonard Middle School, are all within the one mile radius of the epicenter of the outbreak and therefore all part of the so called containment area announced by Governor Cuomo today. It is uh, what they call a cluster. The numbers have been going up. With 108 confirmed cases in Westchester County, the Cuomo administration's containment plan will include closing schools and large gathering spots like houses of worship in the zone for two weeks. The state will also set up a satellite testing facility in New Rochelle. We're also going to use the National Guard in the containment area. Uh, to deliver food, to help with the cleaning of public spaces. It is very important to clarify that this is not an exclusion or quarantine zone. No one is prohibited from entering or leaving the area. This does not affect individual homeowners or families or businesses. It is purely a prohibition on large gatherings in order to make sure that the spread of the virus is mitigated uh, to the greatest degree possible. A drastic measure, but one people who are most vulnerable to the coronavirus will appreciate. It is a scary time. Like stores throughout the state, the shelves in New Rochelle are bare, but the city just got its first shipment of New York's new hand sanitizer loaded up to be delivered to community spots. Right now, the school district is speaking with reporters, giving them an update on how they will handle the two-week closure. We can tell you, we saw some parents coming out with letters from the school so they can prove to their workplaces that their child does go to a school that is going to be closed, so hopefully they can get some paid time off from work. How that will happen will depend on the workplaces, and that is, of course, still all being worked out at this point. Once again, three city schools in New Rochelle will be closed starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, those closures lasting through March 25th. We're live in New Rochelle tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.